3.3 looks like we got a aftermarket tranny cooler looks like they stole the fans out of it that's crusty got some copper brake lines no fluid well he stole the 17 inch wheels and tires that were on it and I made the deal to buy it but hey I'm used to it and look what else he did isn't that nice of him? Left me his trash. All I've done is grab the battery out of the Suburban because it was right there. Slapped it in. And uh, the only thing I've done, just turn the key on. Let's see. Change engine oil. Hit the old information. Odometer. 189 on it. Hmm, just broken in. It's got the tack on the, on the cluster there. It's kind of cool. don't see any fuel rushing out of the bottom of it but I imagine the lines are pretty rusty some crackers old flashlight oh. we may have harvested some fuses so who knows if she'll run Full four door. That's what you get in Maine. Lots of rust. Not too bad on the interior. For the looks of the outside of the truck. People are nice to you, you know, nice to your face, but comes down to it, they don't give a shit. bags of trash. No problem. I'll get rid of them. Don't worry about it. Not gonna bring it in like that. Looks like some kind of jerk bringing in a truck full of trash. I don't do that.
All right, let's see what happens. Moment of truth. About four years. It's been sitting. 2006. 5.3. Not sound too healthy, boys. Very rattly and clunky. <laughs> I'm not sure, but that does not look very good. No signs of oil. Bunch of rust. There's the end of the dipstick. Rotted right in half. Ooh. Little screwdriver there. right out of that little sauce leak she was banging and rattling but it was running give her a little drink anyway some uh, good used drain oil Oh boy. Looped her up.
She's singing. Got a little turbo. Woo! Ooh, she goes right into gear, boys. Right into gear. Got AC. Oh, we got a lot of smoking going on out there. singing a song out here. Took off his whole minute melt plow. Took everything. But then he forgot to take the most important part. Probably because it was covered up with stuff there on the floor. But these things, if you know, you know. People need those. And they pay cash for them. Need that. See what's inside the old console. There's a lot of stuff in here. We got uh, Napa hub bearing kit. Yep, need those. Eighty-one bucks. Subway. Subway. GMC. This guy said that this was his dad's beloved truck. Yep. And then he just leaves it sitting there, runs it out of oil. Look at that washer. That's a nice washer right there. And uh, fills it back with rotten trash. Just leaves it sitting there. Trying to make an honest deal with them. Get the truck out of there for them. 
and uh, takes the good tires and the wheels off. Lies about that. Fills it with trash. Got the old solar shields. Ooh, not bad. Lots of wet ones. Nothing good. A penny. One freaking penny. In the whole truck. Looks like uh, some hearing aid batteries. I know those. Hey, Danny boy. We know about those. Well, there you go. Seems like it's got some sort of a hole in the side. Uh, maybe the block or the oil pan or something's just, uh, the oil I put in just came right out. Davita, little neck pillow for your neck. Nothing else good in here. Maybe keep this dog blanket covering the seat. Had someone say to me recently, what do you think of them old 5.3s? What do you think of those engines, Chris? And I said, uh, I think a lot of them. I think they're good. Um, I've had them. I've seen them. They run a lot of miles. They last. They got power. Yeah, you got to add a little oil. Maybe the lifters will uh, tick a little bit, you know. But, um, I like them. And he said, I think they're junk. I think they're junk and I don't want one. Hmm. Interesting. Well, there you go. An abused 2006 GMC 5.3. It's been, uh, run out of oil. Nothing but rust in there. It's uh, 190, about 190,000 on it, and uh, it sat for four years, threw a battery, turned the key, and the thing started and ran. I mean, uh, this thing would get you somewhere if you needed to. So, uh, I'm going to say I'm still a big fan of the old 5.3 and any of the LS engines. So, uh... That's what I got to say about that. And then we'll see what the fate of this uh, old pickup is going to be in the future. I know you'd still be watching. You couldn't resist. You had to watch. See what he's doing. What's he doing now? You might want to keep watching. Especially because I'll see you on the streets.